channel. Today we are back with a new series called How To and for today's topic it will be for false eyelashes. We are gonna teach you how to how to eyelashes, how to false eyelashes. Basically teaching you how to put them on, what types of lashes you should buy and what are some of our favorite mm -hmm. eyelashes and also our personal opinion on um, these false eyelashes. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is how to use false eyelashes. Firstly, you have to prep the eyelashes. Mm -hmm. um, that means cutting the eyelashes to your size because some eyelashes are really long and you can't just plop them onto your eyes because if not, it won't be a really good fit for your eye. And also, everybody has a different eye shape so it will be best to cut it to your shape mm -hmm. of and, your eye. Um, don't overcut. It's better to cut like a little bit at a time if not, you will like cut too much and then the lashes can't be saved anymore. Um, so how we do it um, is basically you put the false eyelash onto your eye with a pair of tweezers and you sort of roughly see how much you have to cut. That means like if the lash goes past where you want it to be, just like sort of go with the flow and see. Mm -hmm. Because some people might like a longer looking lash, some people like it a bit shorter. So it really depends on personal preference as well. But basically just take a pair of sharp scissors and cut off where you want it cut off. And always cut from the outside of the lashes, not the inside. Because sometimes the lashes have like a gradient. So it's from short to long, where the long is at the outside. So it would be really weird if you like cut off the shortest part. It would just be really weird looking like it's not a gradient anymore. Mm. So always remember cut from the outside of the lashes, never the inside. So after you've cut the lash to your desired length, um, go ahead and take the lashes and like sort of bend it a little bit so as to um, make the band more flexible and fit the shape of your eye much better. I think the band is really important for lashes so one example of a bad band is it's not dolly wing okay it's a fake so it's like inspired dolly wing um it was free i took it just for fun see whether it was any good it's not so do you have to pay for postage yeah how much do you pay for postage i forgot but whatever so these bands are absolutely horrible. Just don't buy fakes. That's the moral of the story. They are so hard, so not flexible, and it's like they are they are like straight if you can see. So I feel I tried these lashes, and no matter how much I bend them, they never want to like bend. So like they just go back to their straightness. It's really hard to stick them onto your eyes because. Since they never want to bend, right? Eventually, either the front or the back will pop out, and then you'll just be like straight like that. So you have to be really careful about the bends. If you see like the band is not flexible, I highly suggest not to get it because it's not gonna be a fun time. So now that you have cut your eyelash to your desired length, you have massaged the band. Now you want to put them on your eye. So what we use is tweezers and we just like place them on our eye really close to the lash line as close as you can get mm, to the lash line for me personally at the beginning I felt that using the tweezers was really difficult for me I do not know why so um, actually I got this from Daiso it's like a clipper thing basically you fit the lash in put the glue and then you just stick it on your eye um, the easy thing about this is that it holds the whole lash in one place so you don't have to worry about adjusting the band and all that it's just like a plop and done kind of thing but now i much prefer tweezers because i feel like you can it's more customizable yeah but definitely if you're just starting out try and get this maybe it'll work for you as for the glue i feel like this is also a really important part so um first of all where do you get glue um you can get them from sasa or um yeah basically sasa is a really great place to get um yeah. Another place that you can try is Etude House. I know they sell. Um, I haven't used it yet, but my friend uses it and she says it's really good. Um, it's also really cheap. It's five ninety for a decent sized bottle. Really good glue. Apparently it's waterproof, so that's great. Um, and yeah, I've only been using this glue and I really enjoy it. So find it, Sasa. 
So once you added the glue, you have to wait for the glue to become tacky so that it will stick onto your eyes. Definitely don't do the mistake of putting on a like a coat of glue and then immediately putting it on your eye because then it's going to be a real just a gluey mess. Yes. It's just gonna be a gluey mess on your eyelid and I highly do not recommend. So after that you go ahead with your tweezers and place it as close as possible to the lash line and adjust it as you need and the finishing touch for me would be to press your real and the fake lashes together so that there won't be any separation. So before you put on your lashes, remember to curl and put mascara so that like your natural lashes will blend in really nicely with the false lashes. So it's the end of the day and you want to remove these false eyelashes. So you take a cotton round and a makeup remover of your choice. I like to use the Bifesta Cleansing Lotion. It's really good, by the way. Um, I spritz some on the cotton round, and then I just like hold it on my eye, just like let it let the product soak in and activate all the glue. And I leave it on for maybe like twenty seconds, and then I like try to like agitate it a little bit, and like I just like try to pluck it out once. This has weakened the bond of the glue, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I personally just tug it off, like, I don't really care. Because for me, right, my lashes not very important because they are so non existent anyway. <laughs> um, it's really recommended to remove it the right way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the right way. After that, you want to take care of them lashes because you did not waste $10 for just one use. Yes. When I first started using eyelashes, I actually asked her, like, <laughs> what did I say? You said, so you mean can we use? <laughs> I was like, yes. And then she was so excited, she was like, oh my god. I did not know. The, I think one of the reasons why I did not go near falsies is because I thought it was only like a buy one time and throw away. So, um, don't mind me. I hate don't mind her. So to maintain the lashes, um, first thing you would like to do after taking the lashes off is to remove the remaining glue on mm. the lash band because uh, it's quite gross to keep the glue accumulating after use after use after use. You just see the glue accumulate and then like it won't be you won't be able to put it as close to your lash line as possible yeah so i mean you can take it out immediately or you can take it out right before you use it it's just up to you and if you really want to be thorough with like maintaining your lashes you can um soak them in a lot of people use warm water and then they either put makeup remover in it or soap and then you soak them, stir, stir them around, eat them out and then if there's any remaining glue or mascara or whatever then you just use a little cotton bud with some makeup remover and then you just slowly remove it. How you store them really depends on how you want to. You can always just keep them back in the box in which you bought them from because they usually come in a plastic hard case and that is totally fine as well. Mm. Um, but, like, <laughs> I mean like, if you want to be extra, yeah kind of, but also like, this one is for like, if you go on holiday, yeah, and you don't want to have so many little boxes, mm -hmm. we found these at Daiso, they are so freaking adorable, um, they are actually like, made for lashes, so basically this one comes like that, and then you open it up and they give you a little plastic like, holder thing, with the lash shape so you can basically just stick your lashes on and it's basically like just a plastic little thing and also and I keep some lashes in here as well you can definitely put like your glue or whatever underneath yeah the, those travel size glues because some like personally my glues will not be able to fit inside here so there are many different types of lashes to choose from and honestly if you're like just a beginner you might feel really overwhelmed because it's really a lot. There's cheap ones, there's expensive ones, there's mink, there's um, like 
woman hair. A lot. So um, there are also different styles. Some are really extremely natural. Mm -hmm. Some are super glam, like full on glam. <laughs> and some are very nice mix of the two. And you did you know that they even have um, false eyelashes for your under, like your bottom lashes? I used to use that and it's really really very good. So that was it and um, we hope you guys really learned some things about false eyelashes and we really encourage you to try false eyelashes if you um, haven't before. Don't be scared, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, also false eyelashes give us double eyelids. Yes. So if you try, if you have like monolids and if you don't like them, um, and you can try using false eyelashes because maybe you can be like us and get double eyelids. Mm -hmm. However, I know of a lot of people who have monolids and hooded eyelids and they do not achieve the same look that me and the niece get when we put um, eyelids. So it's really dependent on your eye. Yeah, but if you don't try, you never know. So we'll see you guys in our next video. Remember to like, subscribe, <laughs> and comment down below. And yeah, we will see you guys next week. Living a good life full of goodbyes My eyes are on the grey sky Saying I don't wanna come home tonight